name's Barbara from Clarity Stamp here in the UK, and this is my mate Rosie. Hi, I'm Rosella Cottrell. And today we'd like to talk to you about our groovy system and all the different mates that we've got. Oh, definitely mates. There are lots of groovy plate mates. So first of all, if you're just uh, new to this, let me explain what the groovy system is first. Um, we developed this a couple of years ago, and it's a, it's a parchment system, and um, you'll see here, these are very, very beautifully etched designs on acrylic, laser etched. And the idea that we had was to take a piece of parchment, for example, overlay it, and then emboss. Now, the very first plate that came off the machine, I, I realized very quickly that it was going to be quite hard to hold it in place, hold the parchment in place, and work at the same time. And so uh, I spoke to Jim, my right-hand man at the office, and he went off into his mind temple. And about half an hour later, he came up with the key to the whole groovy process, in my opinion. Yep. And that was the groovy plate mate. And you know the rest is history, really. So uh, uh, let me just show you. The groovy plate mate is like an aperture, and the plate sits inside, and you can uh, you can attach... Yeah, you need to be able to... No, it's the other way around, love. You had a 50-50 chance there, Rosie. It's all right. Can't get the staff. <laughs> Just Show us me. what you do then, What I'm going to do with this, we'll edit out that bit. It'll be fine. So what we're going to do is attaching the parchment to the plate mate. I'm not going to attach the parchment to the plate because we found the problem with that. We're over with a tumble dryer sheet. Where's my groovy guard? Great bit of kit, this, Barb. Was this Jim's idea? Uh... That was Tina's idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm doing is, all I'm doing is I'm tracing, but as I'm tracing, I'm pressing that embossing tool into the groove, which means that then the paper's distressed, you're going to get that white finish on your parchment, which is what we aim for. Great thing about the plate, mate, is that after I've done a little bit, pick it up, have a look at it, see if I'm happy with the result, see if I've missed a bit, see how much you want to continue. When it goes back in, it's relocated perfectly, so I don't have to jiggle it, I don't have to worry about where I'm going, and I can continue then. And what's the design, which is fantastic. And the thing is, like, because you can attach it to the groovy plate mate, um, you're not holding, you're not handling, mm. you haven't got your fingers all over your parchment. It works brilliantly for that, doesn't it? It does, and also you've got your extras. So if we just take this from it, yeah. around the edge, We've then got, in this case, we've got that alphabet, and these are really great, especially if you're a beginner. The you, letterboxes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Great. Yeah, and so, and as time trotted on, what happened was uh, Groovy really was very popular, and we developed uh, lots and lots of different designs. So um, we now have a, a library mm. of, of hundreds of beautiful plates. What happened then was, of course, we started, because the artwork varies, we started changing the size of the yep. plates. So we ended up, for example, with uh, A6. Beautiful. Uh, baby plates. Love it. Uh, A5. Okay. And borders. <laughs> so these are different. These are just a few of the different sizes. So, of course, the same issue applies. Yeah. So let's have a look at the different baby plate, the different plate mates yes. that we developed to, to help out Perfect. This, this, with this system. So the first one, let's look at the baby plate. Okay, baby. So let's go back. Start with the starter kit plate mate. Yeah. And then and see if you put this one in, it just rattles around. So what did we do? We got an insert then so that it's all snuggly in the middle there. It will be snuggly in the middle there, Barbara. There we go. There we go. You see, so now, just with this little collar around the outside, this one sits in the same groovy plate mate. This is the, the one that's in the starter yeah. kit. So when you're getting going with groovy, this is the one that you're going to invest in first. And then you can use your baby plates in here. Okay, then where do we go? So then let's go, for example... Ah. To the A6. A6 plates. Particularly beautiful, this one, Randy McIntosh. Lovely, one of my it? faves. Little spacer there, keep it snug again. Yeah, you see? And so again, you can do the same job, and you've got your surround without having to handle your artwork, and you can monitor your work. So again, you're using the groovy plate mates from the starter kit. Yep. Right, so then the next thing was, for example, oh, the borders. Yeah. Now, the thing about the border was, in the good old days, we used to sellotape them to the side of the groovy plate mate, and that works. Yeah. It worked, it did work for a while, but then we thought, well, we can do better than we that. Can. We can. In so, fact, we did so much better. We bought not one, but two. 
And you can see here, for example, uh, I drew Rosie. There she yeah. is. Yes, I did. Right, so we've got the Art Nouveau and we've got the funky one. Yeah. So we've got two different choices. And what you'll find is, by and by, the groovy plate mates, the, these frames that hold the uh, plates in place, we always fill them with lovely typefaces or fonts. Yeah, interesting, useful things. Yeah, and for, for every occasion, for every style, for every size. Yeah. So, for example, this one is a beautiful Art Nouveau font. Yeah. See that there? Lovely. Yeah. And then this one, that one's um, a portrait one. This is a landscape one here. We've got the, the word chain alphabet. Again, really lovely. Great, actually, maybe for a younger audience on that one as well. So best of everything, yeah, really. The young funky cards. So we've got those two there. And those were the ones that sorted out the, the borders. The borders. And, then, and then the poetry plates. OK, so for example, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Um, we've got these beautiful A5 plates. And again, we need it. Let's just turn, can we turn that around? Just Because yeah. all I want to show is that it fits on that groovy mat there, so it's really comfortable to use and to work with there. But that is just so beautiful. We have some lovely poetry plates. Yep, and this is a very lovely calligraphy plate yep. um, around a uh, plate mate, actually. So this is, of course, a larger aperture, isn't it? Yep. You can see that. So that works beautifully for that. And then what we did do, because as we can, we developed um, a plate just for the A6, didn't we? Well, we did not just for the A6, though, was it, Bob? Because it's a groovy go, which means you can groove on the go. You can groove on the go. So what does that mean, Bob? It fits in our pink tool bags. It fits in your handbag? It fits in your handbag, Bob. <laughs> in fact, to be honest, I could fit in your handbag, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not about that. <laughs> But that's that's the whole point of it, isn't it? You that's, can travel with it's, it. It's a travelling one. Great for children as well, though. Great, Great little starter kit, maybe. Dip your toe in the water there. Yes. Shall we talk about the club? Did we mention the club? Did we mention the club, did we? Shall we talk about the club? Good idea. So we started this groovy club, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And when you join the groovy club, what you do is every month you get a really lovely baby plate. This, these are called baby plates, these little... A6 square ones. And when you join the club, the very first thing you, that you receive from us is this fantastic little um, baby plate mate, which sits perfectly. It, it houses the little baby plates perfectly. Um, and what is so neat about this one for me is that it's a re it's exactly half the size of the standard groovy plate mate. So we've just shrunk it literally by 50%, which I, I like a lot. So this is exclusive to the club. But as I was saying, if you buy, if you if you're working with baby plates, then you don't have to be in the club. Good if you do join though. Mm -hmm. All you need is that collar, yep. and then that will do the job as well. So there are lots of different solutions. There are, aren't there? Mm -hmm. I think what about the other one? The big one. Should we talk about the big one? Well, come on then, get the big one out. Get the okay. big one out. <laughs> right. So, great. Uh, A4 square plates. You're probably familiar with these. If you are a groover already, you have probably have seen these. Now, this is a wonderful design by Tina Cox, isn't it? Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and so this is a huge plate. And we thought, really, it's so big. When you're working with a piece of parchment, for example, let me just get a piece, I'll show you. You can actually, you can work around the plate. Mm -hmm. However... Lots of our uh, groovers have suggested that we do really need uh, well, a larger plate, mate. What do you think? I'm thinking, you know, the border, because we fill our plates, don't we? We fill right up to the very edge. So perhaps, you know, when we go into the borders, it'd really help, wouldn't it? Something it would. to lean on. I haven't got the parchment going over the edge. So, so the answer is, yes, there is one <laughs> in the pipeline. It's actually already on the machine and it will be with us imminently. <laughs> so, so there we are. We've got, in total... At the moment, we've got the Groovy Plate Mate, the standard one in the starter kit. We've got the Border Plate, or two of. Or two of. We've got the A5 Border Plate Mate. We've got those three main ones. We've got the Groovy Go. We've got the Groovy Go. We've got the Club <laughs> one. It's over there, I can't reach. And then we've got the inset. <laughs> so these are all our frames, aren't they? They are brilliant. And now you understand why they are here for you because they are your mates they aren't are. they love they are mate and what would you do without your mates <laughs> so thanks very much for joining us um 
do check out our website they're all on there and if you have time subscribe to this if you enjoy what we're doing subscribe to the channel here there's plenty more where this came from and uh, and thanks very much rosie thank you bob what would you do about your maids <laughs>